Hey YouTube, in this video we are going to uh, talk about the Dyson V8 Absolute and uh, our review after six months of having it. Um, so you can see here, this is about um, the wear and tear after uh, about six to eight months of having this vacuum. Um, overall this vacuum is fantastic. I really like um, the size of it and how light it is and how easy it is to uh, get into small spaces. This vacuum really is perfect for cleaning out your car. Just because of the size, there's no cords, anything like that. Um, you can turn, this attachment is for carpet um, here, and this will actually rotate. So it does a fantastic job on carpet. And if you get four total attachments um, with this, plus you get two attachments to the floor. They have a, uh, a carpet rotating head um, and they also have a wood floor rotating head and this is just uh, I guess for your wood floor because it's softer it has like this really nice microfiber soft uh, feel to it and then it has like a rubberized um, rubberized lip on there I guess to help with get things off the floor we do have a dog, um, and this does a fantastic job with keeping, keeping uh, hair off the floor. So in addition to those parts, you also get this, um, this tube here, and that helps you, uh, it helps you vacuum, you know, standing up or something like that. If you're vacuuming the floor, just adds a little reach. All these parts are really easily clipping on and off. So another thing I really like about this vacuum. But let's uh, see how it actually works. So there's two different speeds to the vacuum. Um, and it's adjustable right on top here. High suction and maximum suction. I've noticed that if you put on a maximum suction, you'll probably uh, only get about seven to 10 minutes. Um, but you can definitely notice a difference. So if you have like, if you're trying to clean up something really annoying like glitter, then you probably want to put on a maximum suction. But uh, so we'll do a test real quick. So this is the high suction. So that's the normal setting, and this is the maximum suction. You definitely hear a difference. So like I just mentioned, this vacuum is great for your car because you don't have to deal with um, you know, cords or anything like that. Because of its size, it's really easy to get in and out and kind of vacuum in and out of the car. So we're going to use this carpet attachment to uh, vacuum out this rug uh, from the driver's side. It gets really dirty really fast. So let's see how it works. This is going to be on the just normal setting, not the high suction. So as you can see, this does a great job um, on this rug type surface, especially with this uh, this rotating head here. It really does a good job getting all the dirt and stuff out of the uh, of the carpet. So typically, one of the hardest spots to clean is uh, down in here by the uh, pedals. You know where your feet are always at. You get uh, some crumbs and stuff like that that get underneath the rug. But with this Dyson, it makes it 
really easy to uh, get in there due to its size. So we're going to swap from the carpet attachment over here to the smaller attachment. Another problem area in the cars, there's this little crack here. With this little uh, attachment on the Dyson, definitely makes it easy to get in there. So we have this rug out here in our garage that um, gets a lot of dirt on it because we take our shoes off out here. But let's uh, do a test with the high suction, that's or the maximum suction, um, and let's see how it does on this rug out here. Again, I'm using the carpet attachment um, that has the rotating head. So as you can see, it did a great job getting all that stuff up uh, with the maximum suction setting. So if you want to clean uh, like dust off the top of the baseboard, um, this attachment on the Dyson uh, does a great job with these brushes getting all that off. But to take off this carpet attachment here, all we're going to do is press this button down and pull it straight out. And then to put this on, you just simply push it right in. So we got on regular suction, we're just going to knock the dust off this baseboard. So now I've attached the longer hose with the uh, carpet attachment that does rotate and we'll just um, do a quick demo of it so it really does a good job um, these rotating heads are uh, great at getting um, a lot of stuff off the carpet. Uh, they're pretty strong. This um, red one is really stiff and this black one is pretty soft. So it does those two together uh, with it rotating does a great job getting everything off the carpet. So now I've attached the wood floor um, tip on the end of the hose and we'll give this a go. So like I said previously in the video, this attachment here um, has a soft, it's like almost microfiber uh, feeling um, brush here so it doesn't scratch the wood floor. But it does a, still does a good job of getting like pet hair and any dust that um, accumulates on top of the wood floor. So 
unlike some traditional vacuums uh, that would never be able to get underneath this uh, little crevice right here, this Dyson is uh, low profile, is able to easily get underneath there. So this last attachment um, we've used typically to like clean off couch or something like that if there's crumbs on it. I'm not sure if that's what it's intended for, but it works great um, with these brushes and the uh, suction right here, right here in the middle. So we keep our uh, the base where it actually charges in a storage closet that we have. Um, it's down in the basement, unfinished space. But um, I really like this setup. Uh, it's super easy to um, just simply lock it in like that and then rest it down. And these charge light indicators um, show you how much charge you have left. So just in this uh, video demonstration, we've used uh, I guess about half the battery. So. Uh, my number one complaint would definitely be the battery on this thing it doesn't last uh, too long but it's good for um, quick little vacuum jobs definitely not the whole house um, and another nice thing is these attachments can clip right underneath there so let's go over emptying it right now um, the best way to empty this is uh, this trash pull here just simply pull up on it and this top unit pulls up once it clicks all the way up you can see this drawer on the bottom will open up um, so you don't have to touch you know kind of the dirt so to close it all you do is push down on this top right here and it'll click in place and then you can close the bottom door Okay, this has been a review of the Dyson V8 Absolute. Only complaint is the battery life. Otherwise, a fantastic vacuum for smaller jobs. But if you're looking to clean your whole house in one fell swoop, you're gonna still need a regular plug-in vacuum because this battery life won't last. But excellent, like I described, for cleaning up your car. Um, due to its size and you don't have to plug it in. Hope you liked this review. Uh, if you did, give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.